Hello and welcome to norot4u.com Hello and welcome to norot4u.com My name is Amir Borstein I run the site, info site, norot4u.com And today we're going to talk about this This, my friends, is the number one Number one source of RF radiation for most people Number one source of RF radiation exposure for most people And when you are becoming aware of the possible health effect of non-ionizing radiation RF included or when you are becoming electromagnetic hypersensitive or just sensitive the first thing you need to do is to cut the use and to stop altogether the use if you are NHS of this device this device radiates all the time if you walk it as it should be walked should be walked? I don't know uh, so in most cases, I will recommend to turn to, to install a landline phone and a landline internet connection, and then to set up a wired net network and also a wired working station with the laptop based on the laptop or a desktop. But if you don't have it, but you have a cell phone, you don't have money to put on a laptop, you don't have a laptop. You do have a landline. You do have internet connection and you do have a phone what you need to do is to go to Aliexpress or Amazon and to buy this this is a USB to RJ45 network adapter it is actually inside there is a network card and it should fit your cell phone it connects to the USB connection on the cell phone and next thing you need is a cable, a network cable you connect the network cable on one side to the adapter and to the set on the second side to your router or modem in my case oh, I have a network wired network all over the apartment this is one of the circuits so I'm going to connect it to the wall which is the best way to do best way to go now the phone is getting connected via wired internet to the network outside take your wireless take your cell phone and take your um, RF meter and make sure that you operate the phone without any transmission from the phone turn off Wi-Fi, turn off Bluetooth, turn off NFC, turn off um, data, wireless data, um, cellular data uh, and go down to 3G if you have and then put it in airplane mode and make sure with the RF meter that the phone is not radiating anymore okay then connect this setup and you will see oh, was disconnected just a second I will reconnect You can see by the icons on top here that the phone is not connected to the network, to the cellular network or Wi-Fi or anything else. It's in airplane mode. And now when it's connected to the adapter and to the network, I have network, I have internet on it. I will show you. Go to home. Where is my home? This is Google. Let's go to Google. And at search Google for no rad for you let's search for it no rad for you and it's searching oh it's got my uh, Hebrew site Very interesting. Okay, let's see. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's go back. So I have a fully functional phone, internet-wise, right now. There's no calls, but internet-wise, I have a functioning phone, and I can read and use this phone to read, to view videos on my channel or on my 
website to read the how to this is in Hebrew but there's also um, a site in English I also have a site in English and I can do the first step of learning and exposure reduction using uh, the material I read and learn from this site using my cell phone without any radiation so you need your old phone you need a network adapter that fits your phone and a wired connection okay so I hope this will help you those of you who are EHS people who are and are struggling with getting a PC, a laptop or a wired working station uh, this will allow you to start learning and start reducing exposure thank you very much for watching and see you next time minimize the use of smartphones and wireless devices before the use will minimize you don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment thanks for watching and see you next time